I, 29 female, love my husband, 35 male, but I have needs, some that he doesn't fulfill. He found out and now he wants a paternity test as soon as possible. I can't say that I'm happy with what I did. I do regret it a lot, but I know my needs and how it's difficult for me to stay in a monogamous marriage. I am sharing this with you because I need to know if I'm the only one going through this. Backstory. My boss at work has always been a close friend to the family. I knew him before my husband. I have always been attracted to him. It was just about four years ago when I found out that he felt the same. My husband, 35M, had his doubts before, but he never acted on them, maybe because he never had proof. It was after our son's second birthday that he told me to sit down and that he knows about the affair. All I know is that this time, two of his co-workers saw the AP in me on this one evening. I lied at first. I told him we went out for a business meeting. He knew I was at his place, they told him. I know I'm the asshole in the situation. I messed up big time, and I don't know how to fix it. I have been married for eight years now, yet I let my desires consume me. I had feelings for the AP, real ones. He managed to fulfill everything I asked for. Sometimes I blame it on my husband for not being enough. I know that was mean to say, but ever since the birth of our son, he changed. He became more distant, taking care of our baby, I understand. However, planning dates and going out on vacations wasn't an option anymore. I told him about how it was bothering me several times, but he never really considered it as a real issue. He became less active in bed and everything turned into a routine in our life. I was so unhappy and he didn't even care. He was too ignorant and that has pushed me to do what I have done. I know it is irrational. I know I shattered his trust and I don't know if I'll ever be able to piece it back together. I just confirmed the affair when he mentioned it. He went quiet and he never talked to me again. He doesn't even look at me. We still live together. He didn't mention a divorce nor a separation, just the paternity test. I am open to stop these thoughts of how I can't stay in a monogamous marriage. I even texted him with the idea to go to a couple's therapist. He hasn't replied and he just ignored all of my attempts to talk to him. I told him that my affair started two years ago. I told him that it's our son, his son. He doesn't believe me and it scares me how he's too quiet about everything now. I quit my job and I never saw the AP again, but I need something from his part. I need him to do something. He's very passive and it kills me. His reaction is very odd to me. If you are mad, just act like it. This silence treatment is putting me in a lot of pain every day and I don't know how to deal with it anymore. I know this is a safe place for waywards. I am open to fix things and to not let that happen again. Next week, I'm giving him the go-ahead for paternity test. I am sure it's our son, our baby, hoping that it will make things a little bit easier for us. Story two. I'm going to write a letter to my boyfriend after three months of very little contact. I cannot express to you guys how much I miss my boyfriend. All I can think about is how much I have taken him for granted. I think about how much he has taught me, shown me, how he has been faithful to me, how I would still get butterflies when he touched me after seven years. I can't believe how much of my own pain and my own issues I have blamed on our relationship when they were entirely my own. I can't believe how awful I have become at basic skills, setting boundaries, communicating my feelings, being a good person even when nobody is watching, pursuing my own goals while supporting others, Things that I should have a handle on at 30 fucking years old. I'm just in disbelief still at how much I feel like I have failed my partner and ultimately failed myself. I'm trying not to be too negative because while it is very difficult to face your own self-made shitstorm, I am monumentally grateful that something in me has woken up and figured out that I can't do this alone. I need therapy and mental health services. This is not optional. I need guidance from people who are more wiser and experienced than I am. I need belief in the higher power that brings love and order and justice into the chaos of life. Overall, I have finally decided I am going to write my boyfriend a letter. I am also thinking about telling him about my interactions on the sub and AOAI because I want him to know that this has been at the forefront of my mind and my life, even though we have been NC for three months. But I am very, very scared 
I really don't know if this will be the tipping point into us actually separating or into reconciling. At the same time, I am recognizing that this fear I have, I need to not listen to. At the end of the day, it's not about my fears. It's about pursuing what I want in my heart, but ultimately honoring my partner's wants, shut needs. I will make it clear that I will be devastated if he decides that it's over, but I will not make myself the victim because I am not the victim here. He is, which is part of what I want to recognize in this letter. I want to tell him that I recognize I have become an abuser on top of being a liar and a cheater. Something I have been thinking about a lot is how, if I am not able to salvage my relationship, I need to be alone for a long time. I do not know how long a long time is, but the more I have thought about this, the more I feel like it's pertinent to my self-examination and would make me feel like I am showing some respect for the time my partner has given me that I threw away. I would like to know if other waywards have ever had a similar idea. I am not great at responding to every comment, but I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much to any of you who have been kind to me and encouraged me or given me advice in this hellscape of a situation. For BPs, I cannot believe the level of empathy and mercy you have to want to help me. For WPs, I cannot believe your courage to come on here and openly dissect some of the ugliest parts of yourself, your life. Even if I don't respond, I just want y'all to know that I've read every comment at least 20x over and it means a lot to me. Thank God for this sub. Writing a letter to your boyfriend could be a powerful way to express your thoughts and emotions, especially since you've had time to gain perspective over the past few months. Just remember that this letter is about accountability, not about seeking forgiveness or absolution. It's great that you're recognizing the importance of addressing your own issues through therapy and self-reflection. Whether this leads to reconciliation or not, the most important thing is that you're taking steps to become a better person. If you do send the letter, be prepared for any outcome and try to approach it with a mindset of acceptance. It's understandable to feel fear, but as you've said, the focus should be on what's best for both of you, not just on easing your own anxiety. If you're sincere and honest, that's all you can do. Good luck with whatever you decide and kudos for facing your mistakes head on and striving for growth. Story three, how do I get the trust back? Disclaimer that this is my first ever post, so it may not be written in the usual Reddit format. My 28F boyfriend, 29 May, admitted to cheating on me about 18 months ago. As in, it happened 18 months ago, and he told me the next day. I was away for the weekend for work. He got very drunk at a work event and went home with a coworker. He says he doesn't really remember the details of the night, but has never really used that as an excuse. Fully admits that he messed up and has never backed away from responsibility. I always thought I was the sort of person to move out the next day if something like this happened, but apparently not. Obviously, I decided I wanted to try and work things out. I guess I figured that you don't just lose seven years of a good relationship from one incredibly bad mistake. Tried to keep the attitude that just because people do one bad thing does not mean they are a bad person. It only becomes their character if they do it again. I never really took any time away. He initially offered to move out for a while if I needed it, but I said he could stay. Ever since then, he has pretty much done everything right. He offered to leave his job, but he absolutely loves his workplace and coworkers, so I told him that it was okay for him to stay. Although he was never really close to the coworker it happened with, they knew each other and she knew about our relationship, but they're not friends. He showed me their messaging history and the first message they had ever shared was the day after it happened where he told her it was a big mistake and he was planning to tell me sort of thing. Initially, he struggled a lot because he felt like he didn't know who he was either because he never thought he would do something like this. All of our friends know and literally everyone was completely shocked because it was so out of character. So to start with, Whenever we talked about it, he would shut down pretty quickly and not want to speak. But we saw a couple's counselor and after that, he has been much better at talking. Essentially, I'm still really struggling from time to time. Most of the time, I am very happy and I truly do love him. I have so much fun with him, love being around him, and look forward to him coming home from work each day. Every now and then though, I'll be lying in bed and it just hits me that I don't know if I will ever be able to truly trust him again. 
When this happens, I then spend the next few days wondering if maybe I should have taken a bit of time apart so we could both reevaluate things. I guess in my head it's because I always worry that maybe he only stayed with me because of the guilt and not because he still wanted to be with me. I usually will tell him I'm feeling this way and it makes me feel a lot better, but it's still incredibly distracting in my life. So my question is, how long has it taken other people to get the trust back and to stop feeling this way? Is there any advice for what we can do to continue rebuilding our relationship? Please don't leave negative comments about the best option being to leave because I really don't think hearing that will help me. Thanks everyone. Healing isn't linear. There will be ups and downs, and it's okay to have moments where you feel like you're struggling. What matters is how you both handle those moments. As for how long it takes to regain trust, there's no set timeline. It's different for everyone. Some people start to feel more secure in their relationship within months, while for others, it can take years. The important thing is to keep communicating and to allow yourself to feel whatever you're feeling. Don't rush the process. Lastly, trust is something that can slowly rebuild over time, but it requires consistent effort from both of you. Continue to be open about your needs and fears and make sure he continues to reassure you through his actions. Over time, you may find that the trust slowly starts to return, even if it's not 100% yet.